taking time off from work, sitting in waiting rooms, and unknown costs. It's all part of going to the doctor. But what if you could avoid all that because there's an app for that? News Channel East Candace McCowan joins us now live in Tampa with a look at the Doctor on Demand app. Candace. Good evening, Josh. We hear about people going to emergency rooms for non-emergency reasons all the time. But what if we could avoid that if patients could see doctors, not in person, but through an app? House calls are Dr. Courtney Flynn's specialty. Most people are so happy that they didn't have to go into the doctor, take off of work. But there's no feeling your glands or checking for fever. She meets patients and diagnoses them through the Doctor On Demand app. So you're having a runny nose or a cough or a fever. That question was for 11-year-old Aiden Gonzalez and her mom, Kimberly, who met Dr. Flynn in the comfort of their kitchen. Hi, Aiden, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Um, is it a really bad sore throat or just kind of a little bit? The Doctor On Demand app launched at the end of last year. Dr. Flynn takes calls from all over Florida. I will just have you repeat back to me most simple things like viral infections, upper respiratory tract infections, rashes, sports injuries, things like that. Um, they don't require laboratory testing or even a physical exam. Dr. Flynn says it's less than 2% of the time when the illness or injury is beyond what can be treated through the app. If it's something very serious, then we'd stay on the call with them until EMS arrives. But Aid on your side wanted to know, can people like Aiden be treated fully over the phone? USF TGH Dr. Lennox Hoyt tells me that depends on the situation. If you're a primary care doc and you don't know the patient, you don't have that relationship, so I think it's a lot harder. And Dr. Hoyt is sure patients will see more options like this one. I think the consumer-driven um, idea is going to push more of these to the forefront. What's going to happen is they're going to drive the cost of care down because of the competitive nature of these um, companies. For Aiden and her mom. Did you just hear her say, do I have to go get that shot in my finger? <laughs> She's not a fan of that at all. This time, a doctor on demand is a win-win. And through Doctor On Demand, doctors there can prescribe medications, just not controlled substances. A 15-minute call will cost you $40, Josh. Well, Candace, what's your impression of this app? Is it a safe option? Well, I talked to Dr. Hoyt here at TGH and USF, and he told me that uh, there will be some bisnidosis over time, but he expects over time for it to be a, a trending thing that will happen, and he says for people to trust their guts. They say if what you're feeling is not what you're hearing from the doctor, he says go and get a second opinion. Josh. Man, that certainly makes sense. Candace McCowan, thank you very much for that live report tonight, and we'll post a link to the app along with Candace's story online so that you can check it out yourself. You'll find it on the WFLA.com homepage.